the first thing that you'll need to do whenever you're creating a case ticket is open up a browser. You can either use Firefox or Chrome and go to https case.strawbridge.net. So you log in with your active domain, username, and password, just like you would if you were logging into your PC. Back at the case main page, you can see on the left-hand side, there are several categories, and we're interested in the service desk. So click on the service desk, and then we can create a new ticket. All of the current tickets are displayed right now. So go to the New button, select it, and then select the Strawbridge IT Service Desk queue. This is where you'll put your new service desk ticket. With the service desk ticket, you'll want to put in a subject line as, that needs to be concise, but something that's recognizable. In addition, your submitter form will be filled out, the asset that you're writing on you don't need to worry about, the device will be set from the computer that you're uh, logging in at, you'll need to select who your supervisor is, I'm selecting myself in this case, and then you need to define the impact, how many people are inconvenienced or cannot work. In this case, we're going to say that one person is inconvenienced. Then one of the more important pieces here is to select the category, whether it's hardware, software, email, network, printers, user account problems, or file maker. And many of these, whenever you select the top level category, you'll have subcategories that you can pick that'll narrow down the problem. This information will determine who gets assigned the ticket. The status can change during the life of the ticket, for now, since we're creating a new ticket, the status needs to remain as new. The owner is currently unassigned, and that's the way you should leave it when you're creating a ticket. Many of these things will be automatically assigned because of the category. The priority is how quickly this needs to be done, and this is how quickly you would desire this to be done. Due date, normally this isn't set unless it's a very long-term project. The carbon copy list would be people who are copied on the emails coming from this. If you need to have a supervisor approve this before it's submitted, you can add an approver. If this is related to a previous ticket, you can add a parent ticket or some additional information of some tickets that match this. The most important thing here is the comment. This is where you're going to describe exactly what the problem is to the best of your knowledge. So always make sure that the comments are good. Knowledge base articles really apply to the IT personnel. If this is a new project and you're adding the requirements, you can add documents or screenshots. And all you got to do is click on the links and browse to the documents or paste in a screenshot here. And then once all of this is finished, you can either apply changes and continue working on the ticket, or you can save it. And this ticket will close and you will go back to the main screen. And your ticket will be listed at the top of the list as the ticket that's most recently put in. So once your ticket has been submitted, it shows up in the queue and emails are sent out to the IT department, the supervisor that you've listed, and anyone else that's on that carbon copy list if you put anyone in there. 